Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So I am so excited today. I have an order that I placed from Cloth and Paper. Um, I placed this order, I placed this order a week ago. So I didn't do any expedited, expedited shipping on this. Um, this is one that I'm doing just a little unboxing of this order just to show y'all what I got in anticipation of what is going to be coming in the September cloth and paper. So this is a couple of things that I needed to get to, to refill my planner and a couple of things I wanted to get to refresh my planner for fall. And then again, in anticipation of what we're going to be getting in these um, September and October boxes. So I'm recording this on the 1st of October. Like I said, I placed this order a week ago. Um, I still haven't received my September box. It's actually supposed to be coming tomorrow. So here's hoping. Um, but let's get into this um, order. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's open this up. So one of the things that I love is that Cloth and Paper always puts the little things together. Um, so this is just my receipt. And then these are the freebies and order cards. So this is the absolutely gorgeous thank you card that we're getting for this month. And it says, take care of your thoughts when you're alone and your words when you're with people. I absolutely love that quote. Don't know where that's gonna go in the planner, but it's going in there. And then this little freebie says, since we cannot change reality, let us change the eyes, um, the eyes which see reality. So that is really interesting. I like that. And then this is what I ordered. I ordered the duo clip set in quartz. Um, I just really wanted some more fall color in my planner, so I went ahead and ordered that. And it's so funny, now that I see these, I think I kind of might have already had this color or a color very similar to it, but I'm not unhappy with my choices. Woohoo! All right, let's just put that to the side. I'm going to start with this little happy package right here. Let's pull all of this out. So y'all know how we feel about sticky notes on this channel. We heart them. Um, so I went ahead and got these shaped sticky notes. I absolutely love this palette. I used almost all of them, <laughs> which is why I wanted to order some more because I don't have any more. I think I've used all of the square ones and I only have like a few of the teardrops left. So I was like, oh, I'm ordering this. So this is the Stick Sticky Shape Notes in Palette Volume 1E. These are two inch stickers, sticky notes. So this is a square and this is the teardrop. This is kind of a gray color. This is a nice, really pretty kind of neutral, kind of a taupe color that I just absolutely love. And I don't know if it says on here. Okay, so this is the color Crepe and this is the color Earl Grey. So this sticky note set is one you can only order. This was part of one of the sub boxes that we got. So you can only order these if you are a sub box member and you use the sub box code that comes, you know how we get on the back of the sub box um, uh, little thingy that tells you what's in your subscription box? There's a code on that for sub box exclusive shopping on the cloth and paper website. So this is one that you can only get to by using that sub box exclusive shopping space. Love these. So glad I bought some more. So on the main regular shopping page, you could get these items. 
So these are the volume two. These are also two inch sticky notes. These are in the color, this is, yeah, this is volume two. So this is Moscow and this is Saddle. I love these. All of these sticky notes, the shape sticky notes, actually all of the ones I got today are all regular paper. So I don't need an oil-based pen. I could just use my regular pen for these. And I absolutely love these. Look at that beautiful color. Does this not scream fall? This is so happy. I think I actually bought these for the first time last fall and I used them all. Um, now this color palette, volume one, I've never purchased before. Um, I don't think, I don't remember these colors. So I love, but I love them. Look at how pretty. So this is in Bordeaux and this is Demure. So this is kind of like a whiny kind of brown, has a little bit of a purpley undertone. And then this Demure is like a pink, kind of a blush color. So I'm really excited about these colors. I'm excited to use these in my planner. And then I got two other ones. I think I'm just kind of in the mood lately for more paper sticky notes. So I purchased these arch sticky notes in Angora. These are a little bit bigger. I should have probably paid a little bit more attention to the dimensions on these, honestly, um, because these are gonna be three by seven by two by seven. So they're a little bit bigger, but they're still super useful. I'll totally end up using them. Um, I do like that these have cloth and paper printed on the bottom of the sticky note. Uh, I don't know why that appeals to me, but it does. The Angora, Angora color from Cloth and Paper is a really light, light gray color. So I really like that color. I've gotten Angora sticky notes in the transparent sticky notes and transparent page flags before. So I really like that color. And then this last set of sticky notes. These are also arched. These are in the color Aspen. Um, these are, oh, and these, both of these are 50 sheets and all three of these, let me just check, yep, yeah, are 25 sheets. So this is a really soft, pretty blue gray color. I really love this Aspen color. I wish my favorite color is blue, so I really wish they did more blue colors um, at, at Cloth and Paper, but I love this color. It's so pretty. So I will say I already have a box built or a shopping cart built already of some other things that were launched during the um, September 29th happy hour sale. So, or it's not a sale, but their happy hour that they do when they relaunch project products, you know, announce new products, things like that. So there'll be another unboxing of those things because <laughs> I'm super excited about those things too. And plus I decided I wanted to get some more Angora. I think I want to get some small, the small page flags in Angora too, but those are going to be transparent. So here are my other things that I got. So I did get one, no, I got one dashboard. So this is the Notable dashboard. And this is in Vellum and just underneath it, it says memos, idea, memos and ideas. And then at the bottom, it just says cloth and paper. So let me try to open this. Ooh, I love how thick and nice their vellum is. It's so lovely. So I got that and then I got these task inserts because I have a couple of big things coming up that I just, y'all, I need to get, I need to get my life right. Um, and so I had these, these came in a sub box. I can't, I think sometime last year. And I absolutely love how these work. And so you have your date at the top. You just have like an all tasks, right? So you could just, you know, just 
sort of brain dump, you know, just unload the whole list of tasks. So what I love is just being able to just list them all out. And then over here, priority tasks. So I actually, when I used this before, I, when I got this before, I was in a HP classic size. I tried cutting it down so it would fit for the half letter. No, ma'am. Um, and then I just ended up, st I stayed in my, my half, my classic size long enough to finish the project I was using these for. Um, and then I think one project, I actually just ended up folding the page so that it would fit in the half letter planner when I moved to the half letter planner that summer. But I miss using these. And like I said, I have some big projects coming up. I'm gonna tell y'all about those later. But I was like, I need to get these again. So I list out everything that I need, move over the things that are a priority, the things that are not a priority but still need to get done, you move over here. You put a due date for all of it, okay? So it does come with a sample page to show you how to do it. So it, again, it tells you list all of your tasks here, what needs to be done now, right? So you can move, you know, prepare meeting outline, needs to be moved over here, it needs to be done by this date. Right, so all of your things and then the things that need to be done, but they don't have, like they could be done later, you move over here, okay? So I just love this particular insert. I think it does such, you can do so much great work on this one. And then one of the things that Ashley and Brie talked about in one of the cloth and paper ha happy hours in the month of September was for, if you're having trouble with your task list, I, and I started doing this where I had tasks that because they were really like non-priority tasks, they were things that needed to get done, but they weren't like a huge priority. I was like putting those off like days, you know, like I would schedule, I had it on my list for the week. And then by the end of the week, I was rolling that over to the next week because it didn't get done. So what they suggested was actually scheduling that task into the day to a specific day at a specific time. And I have to say that 100% helped. <laughs> what I also did is, you know, for tasks that are like you could group them together, none of those tasks are going to take more than 20 minutes to do, right? They're going to take 10 to 10 to 20 minutes to complete. I grouped three tasks together in one hour, blocked off the type of task it was, right? So like research task for an hour and wrote in because I don't, I use um, the weekly and I use for personal and I use the um, undated, or I'm sorry, not the undated, I use the Weekly and the dailies for my calendar, I could actually write in the actual tasks on that day in that time and was able to complete what needed to be completed. It was perfect for this week. So like I said, I know because I have some big things coming up where I need to kind of organize the tasks, I wanted to be able to have these task sheets and then have, I love, I just really like this um, dashboard. So I am going to stick this demo page right back in here, if I can get it in here. Probably gonna have to take all of this out to put it all back in. And I really do like that this comes with a demo page. Not all of their inserts come with demo pages. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, the but I like it when they do because if you don't know how to use a page or you're not sure how you would use it, it is nice to have. Let's see, it is nice to have a demonstration page of you know, you can see how they're imagining it. All right, there you go. 
Yeah, so having the demo page is nice because you can see how they imagine it being used, which especially is helpful if you're new to planning. And so that's kind of nice. So let me pull my planner over here because y'all know we always do a little bit of a setup when we get new stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, ooh, yes. Oh yeah, no, these. So I love having just a few, not a lot of a sticky, you know, sticky notes on my inbox page just so that I can have a couple to be able to use if I just need to make a quick note and then we'll have some more on let me just refill this little one right here and then we'll leave that and so that, oops, those aren't straight. There we go. Alrighty. So we have our couple of sticky notes and then we just have one little transparent baby. Um, I think that's the only one left too in that color. Um, so that actually is one that's on my refill list, I think. I actually can't even remember what color that is, but I, I think that's sorbet, maybe? I think that might be sorbet. Um, but I love how pretty and neutral this all looks. So let's go to back here is where we want to put some of these task lists. And I actually purchased this to go back here over this, but now I have this insert going over it. Let's see, maybe we can do it this way. Okay, I really like that. <laughs> I really like that. So that's actually why I bought this was to go over the extra because I just always keep a few blank pages here so that I just have them if I need them. So I have a couple of blank project management pages, a blank dot grid piece of paper, and a blank task, a couple of blank task sheets. And then I can add these task sheets to whichever one of these project areas that I need, um, or even add those if I need to add them to a specific research project area. I can just add them right on the top of that section. So that's actually what I'm going, how I'm going to be using these. Um, which, wait, hold on, why didn't I stick the rest of these in there? <laughs> Is to kind of be organizing some of those tasks. Now, I also use these for personal projects as well, like home projects and things like that. So these have a bunch of different usages, but this is just happens to be the section where I'm going to keep them. So that is where that is gonna live. Um, and then let's see, do we want to go? Oh, actually that is a different color. And I want to so notice how you have this paper right here and that's kind of like bleh, right? Now I could go and like clean that off better or I can just flip it around. <laughs> 
so that I can see the CMP logo, right, like that. And slip that right in there. And there we go. She's ready. And then let's go ahead and oops, swap her out of here. Same thing. We're just going to flip her around so that we can see that CMP logo. And we are going to just plop that right on in here. Now for this one, I actually kind of want to see that logo on this page. So we're going to do it that way. I love the way that quartz looks with this kind of candle tea coffee image that we have going on here. That looks so lovely. Doesn't that look lovely? And then I think here we have this older one, but I think I'm going to switch this one out and switch it to this one. And I'm just going to move that over a little bit because that magnet is strong enough that when I picked it up, when I had it right here, I could feel it trying to attach all the way back here because notice there is not another magnetic clip. And look at all of that paper between this magnetic clip and this magnetic clip and I could actually feel it trying to hold together. Um, so when you're, I will tell you, these magnetic clips are very strong. When you're using them, you do want to make sure that you're leaving them a little bit off center from each other because they will try to, they will try to hold it all together for you. <laughs> um, so you do want to make sure that you're kind of using them, you know, in different spots so that you not, you're not getting that pull. Okay. So that is what we have in our unboxing today. I am so excited. This little, doing these little things for me works to give me a little refresh. It always makes me feel a whole lot better about what's going on in my planner. And I just absolutely love it. Now what I am gonna do is, where is my little, I'm gonna use this little clip. And I'm going to refresh my little planner bag and not, I guess, refresh. I don't know. Is that right? I'm just going to give it a little pop of color, basically, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that that's that's giving me that's giving me glee and joy right there all right so that is it for today for the little unboxing and little kind of freshen up um in another video i am gonna talk about these images that i made um and where these sort of fall images and vellums came from. So look for that flip through. It'll be, actually it'll be a plan with me flip through setup kind of video um, for the month of October. So I'll talk about those in there. Thank you for joining me on this unboxing today. Uh, don't forget to click the notification, click the little subscribe button as well if you're not a subscriber already, uh, so that you'll be notified whenever I have new content. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today on this unboxing. I hope you enjoy the bounty of your plans and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody, have a great day.